I had a question regarding thyroid nodules. Okay, let's talk about that. That really is a selenium deficiency. Most of the selenium in the body is stored in the thyroid. And most of the iodine trace mineral is also stored in the thyroid. So the thyroid needs both of these trace minerals in the right ratios. If you're deficient in selenium and you have too much of iodine, that could be very damaging to the thyroid and vice versa. So you need the balance of both of these trace minerals. One thing about selenium is that it acts as an antioxidant, okay? Uh, the base of that antioxidant is called glutathione. And glutathione helps to reduce hydrogen peroxide that's generated from the different biochemical reactions that happen in the thyroid. Now, if you have an autoimmune disease of the thyroid called Hashimoto's, which by the way, um, the great majority of hypothyroid type problems is Hashimoto's. It's an autoimmune situation, but it generates a lot of hydrogen peroxide as a byproduct. Now, when hydrogen peroxide builds up in the tissues, it creates damage to the thyroid cells themselves, and then that can actually create this fibrosis of the thyroid, and that can be part of the nodules as well. So selenium has the ability to not just get rid of the free radical damage and the oxidation that occurs from autoimmune, but it can also reduce the antibodies that are involved in this condition, Hashimoto's. Selenium also is involved in converting T4 to T3. So basically, selenium is just as important as iodine in the thyroid function. So the next question is, what type of selenium should someone take to help this condition? You need an organic selenium, and I'm not talking about the definition of organic being without pesticide. I'm actually talking about a different definition involving a different type of bond of the selenium molecule. You have organic minerals, which are usually um, plant-based and bound to a protein, and then you have minerals that are elemental. The type of selenium that I'm going to recommend for either a thyroid nodule or Hashimoto's would be selenomethionine or selenocysteine. Not both, one or the other, but you would want to take one of these if you have nodules or Hashimoto's. Now, there's two other things I'm going to recommend to enhance your results, okay? One is vitamin E, but don't get the synthetic version. Get a version that has not just all the tocopherols, but all the tocotrienols, okay, in a complex. And also take cod liver oil with that. You can get it in a uh, little pearls or actually in a liquid, but the combination is very, very, very important because now you're getting vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and selenium in the perfect combination. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.